Hello, and in this tutorial, we're going to be implementing the remove last method for our linked list. Now, there are actually three test cases, but I only included two diagrams. And the reason being is the first test case, if you want to call it that, is the empty linked list. So what do we do when it's empty? Uh, we don't do anything. So that's why I didn't include that. So let's go to the real case one. And we're going to see if the size of the linked list is of size one. So we have a linked list like the following. There is only one node here. And this is the dummy node. So in this case, what are we doing? We're doing exactly what the constructor did. We are, so header always has a reference to the dummy node. We are removing the reference to this node. So this part has to be null. And last node gets upgraded to reference the dummy node as well. So let's take a look at case two. Case two is a little bit unique in a sense that you would imagine that removing the last node would be as easy as removing the first node because we have a reference to the last node just like we had a reference to the first node. But it turns out it's a lot more complicated and here's why. In a singly linked list, we only have a reference to the next node. So we can only go one way right but what do i want last node to reference last node has to reference the previous node before it but there's a problem i don't have a reference to this node now in this particular example we do but if the list was longer and not much longer let's say this was of size three so we had an extra node here we don't have a reference to that node. So we need to get the previous node that's before last node. And what do we do? Once we get this node, we set dot next equal to null. That will eliminate this node, update the reference of last node to the previous. So in order to do that, we already solved this problem in our two string or a very similar problem where we had to go and iterate throughout each and every node. We had to go through every single node to print out. So we have size, which is going to be the, if you could think of it as an index to the last node. So size in this case would be two. So two minus one will give you the index one. So let's start implementing this. So I'm gonna say public void remove last. Now, what do we need to do? So let's take a look at the conditions. So case one is if we only have one uh, a linked list of size one. So let's do a test case. If size is equal to one, what do we want to do? Well, that's easy. Header dot next is equal to null because we want to remove this link. So header dot next equal to null. And we want to update our last node, right? Last node will reference what? We want the last node to reference the dummy node. Who always has a reference to the dummy node? Header. So last node reference header. And our last step, decrement the size because we're removing a node. So what's the next case? 
if the size is not equal to zero. Because remember, when it is equal to zero, we don't want to do anything. So let's just write the condition down for now. So the size is not equal to zero. Now, how do we get the first node? It's very simple. It's right here from our two string method. So, but let's take a look at the diagram. So header.next will give you the first node. And we're just going to call it n. So node n. And I have a reference to header.next. This will give us our first node. We need a count. Why? Because we want to iterate through our linked list and stop at one before the last node. So at size minus one. And remember, we started uh, counting our indexes at one. So don't be confused with an array. Arrays start at zero, but the way that I implemented it, I started at one. So this will be one. And this will be index 2. You could think of it like that. So now that I have this, what do I have to write? While count does not equal size minus 1. Why size minus 1? Because this is the index before the last node. Now what are we doing? Well, we want to keep advancing the node. And more importantly, we want to count. Every time we go to the next node, we want to increment the count. And this will give us the index of size minus 1 eventually, when this loop will stop. Now what do I want to do? Alright, so now I have this part. I want to... Convert this part to this. So what do I have to do? Well, this is easy. This is called n, right? So last node is now referencing n. The n that we found. So last node is now referencing n. And now how do we remove this link? Because right now it's still referencing this node. We remove the link by setting dot next equal to null. Finally, we decrement the size. And now we have implemented our remove last method. So now let's take a look at this in the main. I'm going to say list.remove last. List.remove last. Let's do a print. And there you have it. So beforehand, we had 2, 5, 6, 7, 8 from our previous tutorial. We're removing the last two nodes. So our linked list is 2156.